We'll guide you through how to tether from Android. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We'll guide you through how to tether from your Android. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you'll need to go and open up your settings. So I'll swipe up and then click on settings. Then what you'll need to do is go down and go and click on connections at the top. And in connections, you need to go down to mobile hotspot and tethering. Now, you need to decide if you wish to go and tether your Wi-Fi connection, which your Android is connected to, or if you wish to go and tether your cellular data. If you just want to go and tether your Wi-Fi connection you're connected to, then what you can do is turn on Bluetooth tethering, USB tethering, or Ethernet tethering. Let's say I turned on Bluetooth tethering, then what I can do is connect my computer to it and go and use the Wi-Fi connection from my Android. But if I want to go and share my cellular data connection, I'll need to switch on mobile hotspot first and to then turn off my Wi-Fi. And then what we can do is just connect to our Wi-Fi network. And then what will happen is, is our Android will go and create a Wi-Fi network from our cellular data. You can still go and switch on Bluetooth tethering and use that though. But in this case, I'm going to use the Wi-Fi network. So then what you want to do is go onto another device. In this case, I'll use my computer, but you could go and use your phone or whatever. And let's go and open up our settings like this. I'll come over to the left and go and click on network and internet. I'll go into Wi-Fi and show available networks. And as you can see, I've then got my Galaxy phone here. We can click on it and press connect. So you'll go and see the name of your device and you can see some more information about your mobile hotspot by clicking on it. Um, and you can see the name, the password, the band, and you can click on configure to go and change it. But let me enter the password. And just like that, I've now connected to it on my computer and on the phone, you can then see it in the connected devices. It's that simple. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Have an awesome day.